Hi, it's Candy, and welcome to The Art of Planning. This is my week in the EC. That's my week in the Erin Condren. And this is actually the first layout that I have done in my Erin Condren for a while. So, um, it's kind of fun to be back in it. it it's a little... It's a little... Um, it was a little odd, actually, to do it again, but so much fun. I had so much fun doing it. And I'll tell you what also is a little odd is I've done several, several videos now where I have been in front of the camera. So it's, it's a little odd to be doing one where I've just got the planner laid down here and we're doing it like this. So I just jumping back and forth is I'm a creature of habit. That is so weird, isn't it? But we're looking at the week of Monday, March. It's not March. We're looking at Monday, May 9th through Sunday the 15th. And I used mainly as a basis for my layout. I used stickers from the Sweet Paper Co. Can't show you that. I used all those stickers up. Um, this, I, and you know what? I don't remember if it was a set, if I purchased them separately, but just purchased a lot of things to use. I just, I don't remember that. I do remember, though, whenever I showed you the stickers, I remember telling you that I would report back to you after I used them on the quality of the stickers. So I will do that right now. I had this page, which had full stickers, and it had some washi. I had this one that has the to-do headers, had the hexagons, I had a sheet of weekend headers, I had a sheet of half box, and I used all of those, and then I had this little sheet of little pretty things, and I used a lot of those also. So what I always do is I take the set that I'm working around and then I go and pick my washi that I'm going to use. So based upon that set I went and picked my washi and I these are the ones that I selected. Now this set actually went from a nice pretty mint green to a more turquoise so it would have been very very easy to have selected a turquoise washi. I kind of liked and I really liked the mint green with the roses. So I, I decided to go that way, but you could have gone several ways. You also will see none of this particular washi on the pages. I, this was one I wanted to kind of feature. I loved this. I loved the colors. I thought it really picked up what was already on the pages. But I tell you what, I've gotten a hold of some really bad washi lately. The last um, weekly sheet that I did, the weekly layout that I did, I, I got a hold of some washi too that was literally unusable. It would just tear apart, it would kind of shred it. I couldn't get a whole strip of it off of the roll. It was just awful. This one I'm, I had trouble with also. Matter of fact, I, I just gave up. It would do the same thing. It was, it was so hard coming off of the roll that I would tear it. Um, or a side would come off, or the middle would come off, or something, before I could get enough of it that I could use in my layout. So it was just a mess. And I don't know if any of y'all are having trouble with washi or not. I try, no, I do get mine just at regular places. I get it at Hobby Lobby, I get it at um, Michael's, I get it. You know, offline, but in the United States, I I get mine at reputable places. So whenever I end up getting a roll like this, it kind of makes me an unhappy camper. I'm not happy about getting bad rolls of stuff. I wish that well, as soon as I get it and do a haul and show you guys, then I take it out of whatever container or whatever wrapping it came in, and I categorize it by color and put it up in my storage. So I don't have any idea where it came from. That may not be the way to do it. Maybe I should keep it in whatever it came in long enough to know if it's good or not. So I can take it back if it's not good. Because I don't like getting stuff that's not good. So this is what I used instead. I used this wide roll of kind of a hot pink zigzag. And you'll see it right here. 
that's the full width of it. I also used it up here in the full width, but I put the weekend banner over it. I loved that. I thought that was so much fun. On the weekends, I I always treat the weekend as its own little time frame. And if the weekend is longer than Saturday and Sunday, if we're going to go do something somewhere and we take Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, then I will treat that time frame together also. So that's kind of, that kind of tells you how I do that, okay? So that's why you're going to see this always different than the rest of the time. So that's what we started out with. And then I used this mint green floral, which I just love. I think that is the prettiest washi. And I'm not a floral girl at all, but I just think that's gorgeous. I love the color. And then I also used the pink, the light pink washi dot right down here. So that was so much fun. Those are the, that's what I do after I select the stickers that I'm going to use. I go and find the washi that I'm going to use and I know a lot of people are going to the washi that comes with the sticker set makes a lot of sense and it sure looks pretty also so I don't know if a lot of sticker shops are going to move that direction or not um, again makes a lot of sense to not have to store a lot of washi and stuff so I don't know okay so I showed you that um, I showed you the headers. I showed you all of the things that that we use from the Sweet Paper Co. Co. Okay, so here is here is what I think then of the stickers. Of course, they're gorgeous. I love I love the colors. I just think I just think the color combination was so smart, and it would actually allow you to go a lot of different ways. You could have pulled out more of the light or dark gray. You could have pulled out and featured more of the gold. They just, I mean, the colors were absolutely wonderful. And the quality was absolutely wonderful also. These are matte repositionable stickers, and they absolutely were. I moved several I moved several of the stickers several different times because I just wanted the right angle or, you know, I have a problem getting them down exactly right. I just watched a plan with me um, and she, I mean, she did absolutely everything perfect and she did it all right side up too. I mean, I have to fold my planner back the other way. I have to twist it around. I have to turn it upside down. It's just it's just hilarious. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to do a plan with me live for you guys. It would be a real hoot, that's for sure. But um, I certainly have to reposition my stickers very often. <laughs> very seldom do I get it done right the first time. But after I repositioned the stickers several times, I could still put them down and they stayed down. Now, most often, after I move a sticker around a couple of times, I have to go to the old glue stick. I have to put glue on the back of the sticker and I have to lay it down then to get it to stay down. That's after I've repositioned it a couple of times. And that is with most all other stickers. With the Sweet Paper Co's stickers, they are very much repositionable and they very much stick down after you've repositioned them. So I was extremely pleased with the quality of them. That's my review on them and that says a lot because I, I don't find that in most stickers. So I was so pleased um, to find that. Didn't have to pull the glue stick out at all. Now, I told you previously, I don't remember if I ordered the stickers from them as a set or if I ordered them individually. Regardless, I didn't end up with everything that I wanted to use in this layout because I've started using a lot more stickers than I used to use. Um, that's been kind of a fun thing. Now, with that being said, 
I did go into my little stash, and you know how you always end up with some leftover things. Um, so I found the little sidebar check lists. The sidebar flags that, that you can check. And I had them in the pink and in the mint blue and in the turquoise also. Kind of a light turquoise and a darker turquoise. And I pulled this out for you to see. Now, I don't have anything that tells me the name of the shop that these came from. I could make a couple guesses, but if I did, I would be wrong somewhere for somebody. So I'm not even going to venture those guesses. What I will tell you is it's quite likely that these were on a page that did have the name of the sticker shop. I have had these. These are probably some of the very first stickers that I ever ordered. So I can tell you when I first ordered stickers, there was no way I had planned to ever do a YouTube video. So I didn't think there was any reason for me to know the name of sticker shops. So if I cut the name of a sticker shop off, it was quite innocently, even though I need the name now, I didn't ever dream that I would need the name. So please forgive me if these are your stickers and I didn't give you the credit that, that are due because they worked up so nicely in this spread. I would have loved to give you credit. I used some here on my sidebar. I use them as to-do flags in on every single day somewhere. Um, they match the colors so nicely and they give me I think six places. What? Two? Four? Yeah, six places to mark specific to-do tasks and I absolutely love that and these just came in so handy. Now on the other hand here are two little sets that I had pulled that I don't believe I ended up using but the color scheme and some of the icons were correct however I will not take credit for not knowing where these came from because had I needed to use them I wouldn't have known and um, that was not that would not have been my fault so just sticker shops if you're new and starting make sure to get your name on there because that is important it really is important okay the other things I did use I used a lot of miscellaneous stickers from a lot of different shops the other little sticker that I used in several different places were these little just kind of bar stickers and these were also some that I ordered when I very, very first started. Right here, the little stitched notation stickers. And those came from Oh Hello Stationery Co. And I used those in a couple different places. This was a full block sticker, but I know just right after lunch here, there's an appointment that needs to go in here. There is a notation that needs to go down here, and there's something that I want to put here. So I wanted something like that to put down and those worked perfectly and there were some little icons here also I think possibly that little camera icon came from there I'm not sure exactly but I pulled those from Ohello Stationery Co and those worked in very well also the other stickers that I used miscellaneous ones Wednesday night is nail night. Willow Fields has the cutest little fingernail polish bottles. And then Willow Fields, now this says, designed by the lovely Canon Reed, www.thecheekydarling.etsy.com. And then over here it says Willow Fields. So, not exactly sure how that goes specifically, but this had on it plans or dreams with deadlines so that's a little inspirational box over there inspirational and pretty to look at over here my little weekend planning section this cute little tassel is from this pretty page 
as are the scissors and the roll of washi tape and the little clip right here. So this had all sorts of cute planner things, extras, pretty extras, that are fun to use also. Such cute things. And those are from Willow Fields. And I'm pretty sure that, that we can't, that I can't do a plan without including something from A Heartfelt Life because I love what Maria does. So this cute little coffee cup up here is from A Heartfelt Life. It's actually like that. She has such cute coffee cups. She has such cute everything. The little planner, the little pink planner right here is from A Heartfelt Life. And then the little plan banner is also from A Heartfelt Life. So there is a very nice assortment of sticker shops represented and I just thought the colors worked together so well based upon what I started out with. It was easy to pull from different miscellaneous things based upon like the core stickers that I decided to use this week and I'm so excited about um, trying, getting to try this week Paper Co's stickers and them being so wonderful and I love the colors and I love the quality and it's so nice to find a shop that that does have all of that wrapped up into one and I will look forward to getting other stickers from there. Um, I hope there was something here that was helpful, either a new sticker shop or maybe the way of doing things or um, we'll be back this week with kind of updates on the Erin Condren and also with other videos about Franklin Planner and um, that's kind of the basis of the powerful planning that we do. So we'll, we'll see you on other YouTubes this video or on other YouTubes this week and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe also if you would like to. We would love to have you join us in our YouTube and in our planning journey. So thanks and we'll see you soon. Bye.